um, happy October. When you're watching this, it'll be October 1st. And it is almost Halloween. One of my favorite times of the year. Although I am afraid of absolutely nearly everything. Um, I still love Halloween. I love the whole idea of Halloween. And usually this time of the year, I would have a Halloween party. I don't think I'm gonna have one this year. Never know. Might find a purpose to have one. Um, but anyway getting on to my video. This video, as you probably see from the heading, is my September favourites. I've never done a favourites video. I have only ever done favourite blog posts. Favourites blog post. Yes. English is so bad recently. I don't know what is wrong with me. So um, let's get cracking. The first thing, sorry I have it all on the floor here. The first thing I am going to say is my favourite is this book. It is If You Could See Me Now by Cecilia O'Hearn. I've been reading this book for nearly two months now. I brought it to America with me. The only days that I read it were the three days that I was stranded in the airport. Um, but Cecilia O'Hearn is one of my favorite authors and it's just even better that she's Irish. Um, I've all her books, I've only read about five or six at this stage. It's, I just, I take a time reading one of her books because they're always so, so, so good. And this book, I don't really want to give it away. I want you to actually go out and read it. But if you're like me and believe in magic. <laughs> now, like, I understand you being skeptical of that. But if you believe in hope and life and happiness and magic and all things great, this book, it just, it's fabulous. And if you don't, read this book and it'll make you think, well, why aren't I like that? and it'll make you change your prospect on life, outlook on life. I just loved it. It was a great story and did take me two months to read, which is probably the longest book I've ever read. Um, but it wasn't because I was slow reading it, it was just I was so busy. But yeah, definitely worth the read. I know I'm not telling the story line of it, but I feel like I would give it away if I did even give a synopsis of it. So basically the back goes, what if love was right there in front of you, you just couldn't see it, right? But it doesn't mean love as in the love of your life, although that is in the book. It means why, it means loving life, <laughs> basically, and finding magic in anything. But yeah, perfect. The next thing on my list is makeup related. Um, and it's probably a bit more of an obvious one. I love Suzanne Jackson and anything she brings out, I love, <laughs> right? Um, I love her contour palette, I love her highlight palette. Only flaw with the highlight palette is like only two colors suit my skin tone because I'm so pale. But anyway, the next thing, I absolutely, there's not one fault with it at all. It is her eyeshadow palette. I am obsessed with it. Like, and I, I don't use the word obsessed a lot. <laughs> so for me to use it, Mm, it must be good. Um, I'm just gonna cover the mirror because I don't want that being reflected. Look at the colours, they are fab. The colours I use the most are these two here which is Flame Depth and a pot of gold and recently I used Spark and Heat and a pot of gold and I used Blazed a little bit and I used Naked on my eyes today so that I don't wear a lot of eyeshadow but it is fab. Now I've read a lot of comments online that a lot of people don't really like it. I love it. Um, I use it every day now. It's my go-to eyeshadow palette and it's just, I love the fact that it's all the colors I've ever used on my eyes. Like for blue eyes, you should wear coppers, browns, golds, all those sort of colors and it's every color I, I need. Next thing, sorry, I'm flying through this video. I don't want this to be a long video for you. The next thing is my yellow jumper and I'm just gonna zoom out a little bit if I can, yeah. Oh, my battery's flashing again. Right, this jumper is from Pennies. Of course, as I said in my blog post, yellow is a massive color for autumn, winter. Oh, I'm zooming the wrong way, Sarah Jane. There we go. Uh, yellow is a fabulous color for autumn, winter. I am in love with yellow. Uh, every time I think of it, every time I see it, I feel like saying, you know, I don't know if any of you know, but Rob Kenny, he is an Irish PR, uh, organizer, I'm not really sure of his title, but I follow him on Snapchat and every time I see this mustardy yellow, I'm like, I am deceased. I feel like I have to say it like he does. But yeah, I absolutely love it. It was 12 euros in pennies and I got mine in the Lee Shopping Center, if any of people from Leash are watching. It is so cozy. My favorite thing about this one though, is it has like a, a zip on the back. I don't know if you can see this at all, <laughs> but um, 
yeah and it's oversized now I actually got this in a size 10 to 12 and it's oversized on me so I would stick to your actual size and it'll still be big the next thing oh my god I just we need a moment <laughs> like I love all things pink and I love Valentino but I can't afford Valentinos so the next best thing has to be Penny's Valentinos look at them they're divine like I have these in black and I'm gonna go get the nude ones and the blue ones but I just I'm so in love like amazing I'm actually gonna wear these tomorrow and on Saturday night tomorrow I am getting uh, well tomorrow for me it would have been Thursday gone by when you watch this I'm getting a PVA award in Limerick and I'm wearing a black dress but I'm wearing these shoes <laughs> They were 19 euro and again I got them in pennies in the Lee shopping centre for all my local peeps watching this video. Okay, I'm literally flying through this. I'm actually panting. I might need my inhaler. <laughs> like what is wrong with me? I'm also very hyper aware that my battery is flashing at me. Why does it always die when I need to fill out my video? Anyway, next thing is music. What have I been loving? What have I been loving in regards to music? There's four things on my list. Sorry, I'm looking at my list so I don't forget. Um, the first thing has to be an Irish band called The Academic. Now they have been around for maybe, I think it's like four years. Like They've only been on the music scene for about two years, but I had heard of them back when I was in either the end of first year or the beginning of second year. And my gal, Sarah, had bear claws on her iPod and i was like oh my god i love this song right and then shauna my gal shauna brought me to a gig in Wheelands, and they were at it they were the main act at and when i left i was like i am in love with the academic and i've seen them two or three times since and sophie and jade got me tickets to go see them the day after my birthday in november and i am so 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 excited I like Bear Claws is my favorite song obviously because it's the first one I've ever heard from them like three years ago and now it's been released on radio and I'm hearing it all the time and I still love it and I love different oh I just love the academic and if you are watching this and you've no idea who they are please check them out you won't regret it they're like an indie pop kind of band um love them love and they're Irish oh um, the next thing I'm going to say, my favourite song at the moment is Reggaeton Lento by Little Mix and CNCO. This song literally gets me dancing every time I hear it and I, every time I hear it I want to just get dressed up and go out dancing. Not even to drink, just get up and go out dancing because it just gets me in the mood and I'm so happy and Little Mix on it, the video for it, Little Mix look unbelievable oh my god i'm so jealous that i don't look like any of them at all but sure <laughs> anyway if you haven't heard the song look it up the original is a lot slower than the remix obviously i think that's obvious Jane, if it's a remix anyway reggaeton lento is my favorite song for september um it's just summery and makes you feel happy <laughs> um the next thing i want to mention is one of my queens Julipa, oh my god, I saw her this summer at Longitude in Dublin and almost died at like how amazing she is. And this week she announced she is coming back to Dublin. Woo <laughs> she is coming back next April and her tickets go on sale this Friday. So by the time you're watching this, I will either have got tickets or have not got tickets. So please pray that I do get tickets and I'm gonna be happy and not depressed that I'm not going. I'm happy she's playing the Olympia Theatre but very shocked because she could have easily sold out to Tree Arena. But yeah, love her. If you want new music to listen to, apart from all her like chart popping jammers that are absolutely amazing, um, listen to her song Homesick on her album. I am in love with that song it's a it's a very different from <clears throat> sorry it's very different from like um oh my god i can't think of any of your songs new rules why can i not think of new rules like one oh, pick up the phone you know he's only calm because he's drunk and alone too i'm gonna stop singing now because i can't sing for shit and 
my throat is killing me. I should not be talking this much or singing. Um, but yeah, check out Homesick by her. And if you are also trying to get tickets, well, you probably have got tickets at this stage. Um, let me know if you're going. Leave a comment below and I might see you there, hopefully. Please God, let me get tickets. And last, in regards to music, I cannot go without mentioning the one, the only, Niall Horan. Out of all members of One Direction, I feel like he is going to be the most successful. And I know a lot of people are like, oh, whatever, Sergei. His music is completely different to everyone else's. Like, Zane's okay, maybe that's a bit more broader and a lot more people like that. But I actually am hearing a lot of lads that I know saying they love Niall Horan's music, which compared to when they were in One Direction, they would never admit to liking any of those songs and Noel would have written a good few of those songs but it was the way they were produced and stuff. Um, Too Much To Ask is such a beautiful song. Um, I think all One Directioners are like, who the hell hurt Noel Horan because that girl is silly. Um, but it made a great, great song. And when I went to the Flickr, se Flickr sessions, Jesus, almost cursed there. When I went to the Flickr sessions in August, I got to hear his whole album. And oh my God, you're in for a treat. It's incredible, amazing. I cannot wait to get the physical copy so I can literally listen to it on repeat because I love him. So round of applause for Nile Horn. He is doing great things at the moment. Uh, next thing on my list is what have I been watching in September? There is two things I've been watching, one on TV and one on Netflix. The one on TV was actually on TV in June, but I was so busy traveling, I didn't get a chance to watch it. So I've been watching The Handmaid's Tale. Now I've read this book in college for a uh, module I done. Absolutely loved the book. Like, if I wasn't already a raging feminist, <laughs> this book would have made me a feminist. I advise you to, if you haven't got read the book, go get it, read it, you'll love it. Um, if you've read the book, watch the series, it is incredible. Oh my god, I'm so happy the leading actress, I cannot think of her name right now, got an Emmy Award recently because her performance was amazing. Um, yeah, it was just 10 out of 10. Me and my mum have been obsessed with it for the past like week. We've literally watched the whole season in a week. Um, we cannot wait for season two to come out. Uh, and the other thing, I know I am five years behind everyone else, but I started watching Orange is the New Black and oh my god, <laughs> like... Oh my god, I watched one season in one week. I know people have watched one season in one day, I know. But I have a life, I have other things to be doing. Surprise, surprise. Um, but I absolutely love it. I finished season one yesterday, I think it was, and the way it ended, I was like, oh my god. And I'm when I finish filming this video, I'm going out to watch uh, season two, episode one. It is so good. I know I'm very behind the time, but Gossip Girl and Pretty Little Liars took over my life for a stage there and I didn't want to move on. <laughs> so yeah, uh, what else? I had something else I wanted to put in to my favorite. Mm -hmm. As you can see, I am wearing glasses. Usually when I'm filming a video, I refuse to wear glasses, but no, I am in love with these glasses. I've been wearing them every day since I've got them. My eyesight has decreased. No surprise there, because I'm always on my phone, or watching TV, or on my laptop. Um, so I had to go get new glasses. And of course, when the option came up to get, I don't know if you can see, uh, no, it's not gonna zoom, they're Machino. Machino is one of my favorite designers. I've addressed by him. Next goal is to get a handbag. But of course, these glasses, when I saw them, my mom actually spotted them and was like, um, Sir Jane, your favorite designer has glasses that you would absolutely love here. So I think you should get them. Tried them on and was like, oh my God, I'm in love. Um, so yeah, I rarely ever want to take them off, which is good for my eyes because I can see everything again. Um, but I think they suit me. I think they suit me a lot better than the glasses I had before. And I got another pair as well. Well, I don't think they're Machino. I think they're Roxy. I think, I'm not too sure, but I am in love with these ones and I've been loving them all of September, most of September and I don't know when I got them in September. Not too sure. I think that's it. I think that's my September phase. Of course, when I was filming the outro for this video, my camera battery died. So now I'm on my iPhone once again <laughs> and I'm going to film the outro here. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, if you've enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. 
if you are going to Dua Lipa, leave a comment down below. If you want to leave any other comments, very much appreciated and welcomed. Um, tell me what you've been loving this month, or what you've been hating, or anything at all. Um, and if you're new, please, please, please subscribe. I am so close to 200 subscribers, and I'm thinking when I get to 200, maybe doing a giveaway. I don't know. You better watch this space. So get all your friends, family, your pals, everyone to subscribe to me. And yeah, thank you very much and I shall see you soon. Bye.